Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and welcome to Tutorial Tree on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in Unity. So, first off, if you're new to my series, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one so you'll have a better understanding of what's going on and be on track. Okay, so, and also for those persons out there, you know, total beginners, you know, and uh, you're new to my series. Uh, you guys can check out my uh, previous uh, series on how to create a first person shooter game in Unity and watch my uh, tutorials. You guys will have a more clear understanding of what's going on. And this would be a total walkthrough because uh, I actually look at these stuff that I'm covering right now as pretty basic. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Alright, so uh, first off, uh, if you guys are following my uh, series this far, uh, I know it's only a tutorial tree, but you guys might know that we're going to be focusing on the load menu today. Okay, so let's get down to it. I left you guys on the main menu. is splash screen and uh, level 1 and the load menu here. So what we're going to do is just go to our load menu, open that up, select our main camera as we did with our main menu creation. Press F to focus in on it, get a nice front view. And we're gonna just go and we're gonna right click and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna create a cube. Uh, there will be no package uh, to download because we're gonna be using the same uh, scripts and so forth from our uh, tutorial 2. So keep that in mind. Alright, so what we're gonna do, same procedure as creating our. Uh, main menu we drop the cube out and then we scale it on the y axis and we scale it on the x axis and then we're going to go over to add a directional light right click light directional light good stuff just drag that out of there as i told you guys it's not really that important this is going to be a pretty short tutorial it's very simple all we need to do is go to tutorial one uh, open up this here and go to the material I'll take the material and just drop it on there and we're gonna go to school here and we're gonna type let's say 180 okay that didn't work out pretty good sorry about that that's a directional lie I'm actually I should actually select the cube the background just remember that after we rename it we rename it to background you're gonna just go here and type 180 all right good stuff well just now I pressed ctrl Z to undo everything and basically I undo putting material on there as well so yeah once you rotate it and it's looking like this good stuff I'm gonna just go disable the box collider uh, pretty early good stuff what we're going to do now we're going to create an empty game object and we're going to rename it as text good stuff and what we're going to do now we're going to create we're going to duplicate let's duplicate this here parent it onto this one you can parent and a a game object onto another game object by just simply dragging it onto that one all right so keep that in mind what we're going to do we're going to rename this one now as let's say um load menu good stuff duplicate this here like uh, two more times three more times sorry good stuff we'll rename this one as level one i'm going to rename this one as level two good stuff and what we're going to do now, we're going to go here and we're going to just rename this one as back. Good stuff. Now we're going to just go and hold down shift and we're going to select, first off, sorry about that. Uh, just hold down, just click on load menu, sorry, and just hold down shift and select back. And we're going to select everything from the top here to the bottom. Good stuff. We're going to go and we're going to add a component to it now. Now, if this was showing up, just X out from it. Ensure you're in this view, components, mesh effects, etc. And we're gonna go and we're gonna type text. 
I want to see like the text mesh, good stuff. And what we're going to do, we're going to basically go to our uh, tutorial 2 folder and we're going to take uh, one of the fonts out of here. We're going to just drop it there, good stuff. Increase the font size to around 50. And yeah, that's pretty much that. All we need to do now is basically just type in the text so it will be displayed. And we're going to type load menu. Good stuff. And load menu is being displayed. All we need to do now is just drag this box and as you can see there, voila, we have a load menu title being displayed in our game. It's that simple. So I told you guys, this is a pretty basic you know, uh, creation of a main menu, a load menu. So, And the last time in my uh, previous series, uh, I basically run through the main menu and the load menu in one tutorial. However, I decided to just separate the two so you guys will have a more clear understanding of what's going on now we're going to just rename this here to level one good stuff this is level two sorry about that excuse me and we're going to rename this here as back good stuff and what we're going to do we're just draw all right we're going to just select from level one Hold our shift and we're just like back. You want to just drag this back here. Good stuff. Just ensure it's a little bit smaller than your uh, load menu title. You know, good stuff. And then we're gonna just drag this stuff out now. It's that simple. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Put the back down here, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I recommend you guys have a mouse, you know, so you can rotate and so forth pretty quickly, you know, because when you're in a actual uh, 3D uh, dimensional space, you know, you're going to need to actually check and ensure that everything is, you know, up to date and everything is actually as it should. Alright, so keep that in mind. Yeah, so basically we have the text being displayed in our game. Alright, so all we need to do now is basically... Uh, add colliders to these uh to the level one the level two and the back now we need to space this out here this one's not spaced out good stuff and i left out an l from that one good stuff yeah so all we need to do now is just select the level one hold shift and press and select the back we'll go down here we're going to add another component X out from this, we'll go to physics and we're gonna add box collider. Good stuff. And remember we already disabled the box collider on the cube, so we're pretty much fine. All we need to do now is just go to our scripts folder and we're gonna take the uh, level one, we're gonna drag it to level one, take the level two, drag it to level two, we're gonna take the box script and we're gonna drag it there. Good stuff. Now, uh, I think you're gonna have to actually open up the back script. All right, all right. No, no need for us to open up the back script. Okay, just check our build settings and ensure that everything's in our build settings. Good stuff. Now we don't have a level two, so do keep that in mind. So if we hit play, everything's working out pretty fine. We select level one. Well, the level one is not working for some reason. All right. Okay then. So let's check this out pretty quickly. Um. Uh, another thing that is very important. The reason why the uh, text isn't working is basically because we didn't is selected. All right. To so ensure that it is selected. So when you select the text it's going to perform the function as set in the script so as you can see it loads the level one and we select back it goes straight to our main menu so everything seems to be working just fine as i told you guys the quit script the quit button won't work because the game hasn't been built yet for those new persons what i mean by that you can go to build settings and as you can see it has build and build and run now when after you finished all of your adjustments and all of your uh, necessary uh what should i say 
maintenance to your game you know and everything seems to be up to your liking you can just go ahead and build your game and you can run it and when you hit quit you'll notice that the text is working good stuff so yeah that's uh, pretty much that guys for this tutorial I uh, hope you guys like it if you do you can give me a thumbs up uh, in the next tutorial I'll uh, be showing you guys how you can make a main menu using the GUI and that'll be pretty quick and pretty simple uh, yeah that's pretty much that so you guys can look out for that in tutorial four so once again hope you like this tutorial if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my channel and you can also check out my channel you can view my uh, latest uh, game development uh, my latest game you should say uh, it's called Awaken Tree yeah it's pretty awesome you guys uh, I have a download link in the description as well of this uh, tutorial so you guys can check it out download it you can give me a feedback on what you think of my game so yeah that's pretty much that so once again hope you like this uh, tutorial if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my tutorial series on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in unity so until next time continue making games guys peace